Welcome to Create a Clickable Map in Google Slides. Click the Pantheon to begin. Here's the Pantheon. Well, this is interesting. Link to slide number three instructions and project videos. This slide looks like an example of what you're going to be doing on your slides. Um, down here, we have an attribution that's a little bit of a new format. We're not going to list the changes to these images that we're adding to the backgrounds of these slides. We're going to say this image is a derivative of and then basically the um, normal um, tassel attribution. Oh, look over here, some interesting facts. The Pantheon was built in 125 by the ancient Romans. To this day, it still has the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. Unreinforced means there is no metal rebar or anything inside the dome to help keep the concrete from falling apart. It has been a Christian church for centuries. There's the dome. I've added a background image. All right, link to slide number three, instructions and project video. So this is slide number two. All right, slide number three. So this is where you're going to start your work. Um, so slide number three. Link Castel San Angelo to the slide. Insert background image, add correct attribution to the bottom of the slide, add an interesting fact about Castel San Angelo, make sure your text is clean and the text boxes are thoughtfully placed, go to the instructions for slide number four when you're done with your work for slide number three. Okay, so <clears throat> I need to go to slide number three and then I need to go to the map because I need to link part of the map to this slide. So I'm going to go to the map. All right. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of present mode here. Boom. All right. So here's Castel San Angelo, and you're going to be doing what I'm doing in a second. So you need to have a shape drawn around Castel San Angelo and all these other locations that you're going to link and add images to, <coughs> for I should say, to the slides. And um, so I'll show you how we're going to do that. So if you notice, I've already linked the Pantheon to start the lesson. And when I click it, you can kind of see the outline that I've created there. Um, so I could just add a shape like that. And then I need to make the um, lines on the exterior. Uh, here we are. The lines on the exterior transparent. And then I would get rid of the fill transparent. And then I have this square here. <clears throat> and I need to link the square to slide three, which is shockingly simple. Just right click it. Go to link. And then, oh, look at this option down here slides in this presentation. Okay, don't mess with next slide or last slide because if you add or take away slides, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> if you add or take away slides, um, it's gonna mess up your order and where your links go. So stick with the numbers. So we're going to slide three. If slide three moves, your link will move with it. Uh, okay, apply. Now I'm gonna test it. Click away, can't see anything there, but Boom, and then it takes me straight to slide three where I'm gonna add a background image. And then go back to the map and I'll show you another way to do this if you are a perfectionist like I am, ha ha. Here we go. If you go to line, well, first I'll get rid of this goodbye squarish shape. If I go to line and I would, I'm gonna do a polyline, which means it's gonna be, um, straight lines and then I'm going to create a shape that I close and then I can link that. So this is kind of a cool SAR shape almost around Castel San Angelo. 
Did you know that it was the Pope's fortress? It's in Rome. This is all Rome. And I can draw a sh perfect shape. Well, perfect is, I can, you could argue with that, I guess, but here we go. I'm just gonna close that. So now I have more of the shape of the um, property around Castel San Angelo. And then I'm going to remove the fill by making it transparent. Then I'm gonna make the exterior line transparent. All right, now it's invisible. Click on it. You can go, if you don't right click, there's always the link button here you can use. Or you can right click and there, oh, it's not giving me a link for this one. So you have to go to this link button up here. <clears throat> click it, go to the link button up here. Slides in this presentation, slide number three. Apply, test your link, boom, cool. All right, now what, uh, what do I gotta do next? Go to the instructions and link Castel San Angelo to the slide, I just did that. Next, I'm gonna insert a background image. <clears throat> 